large language models like ChatGPT, they cannot understand raw text. So the first thing that we do for them to understand raw text is split the raw text into something called to tokens. The tokens can be split based on spaces or by letter or by punctuation. Once these tokens are split, we convert these tokens into something called embeddings. So an embedding is nothing but a list of floating point numbers. This list can be thought of as a multidimensional space where the vector exists. This list actually points the location of that embedding in a multidimensional space. So let's take a look at the position of cat in this multidimensional space. So what does that represent? It represents the meaning of the word in relative to the other words in this multidimensional space. So cat and dogs are closely related because they are the name of pets. As you can see, that is also in this multidimensional vector. So to understand this a bit better, let's take a look at a latitude and longitude um, of different locations in the US. So for example, Washington DC has uh, 38.977, New York has 40.74. As you can see in a real world map, in a 2D map, the Washington, if you plot Washington, DC, and New York, they are close to each other. The same goes for London and Paris, but New York and London is far away from each other. You can think of the cat example that we looked at before like this. So what are contextual embeddings in LLM? For example, we have two sentences, turn on the light, the suitcase is light. In this context, light means something else, and this sentence light means something else so light will have different embeddings based on the context so in a multidimensional space there might be two lights that have different meaning because the words that are closely related to this light is different while the world words related to the second light is different that's how large language models are able to identify context in in words that's why it's called contextual embeddings.